So, this is awkward. I'm making this video for, uh, for mainly the purpose of uh, explaining, like, gi giving my input on what was going on behind the scenes for the other videos. And so, if you're wondering what this empty space is for, I'm probably going to put up a picture or a video of, uh, of, yeah, of, of what I uploaded, of what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's digest some, uh, some videos, shall we? Uh, the first two videos I uploaded, uh, and I'm going in chronological order, by the way, the first two videos I uploaded were basically experiments of not only the green screen, but as well as the effects that I would be using, such as the, uh, the, uh, with the new news, uh, video. Uh, if you're wondering why the heck this guy is in the beginning, like he's going, like, looking at a computer or something, uh, I needed to find something to put in that filler space, so, uh, I, I just, it, it was there. I don't know what it was, but for some reason, it was what, I could be completely wrong about this, but if, I think it was like an hour-long clip of that guy, I think his name's Robert, or Rob, or whatever, uh, it's just a, it may not have been an hour-long clip, but it was a really long clip of him just doing that, just staring at the computer. I don't know what he needed it for, but it was on a memory card that I used in the class, so... <laughs> I just took a little section of it and put it in the intro. <laughs> and outro. If you look at the description, you'll see that it says, It's the new New News' news crew, and if you can completely and fully understand that, uh, you deserve pr uh, some brownie points, because... <laughs> I don't know how I thought up of that. And, uh... uh Fun fact, uh, I had to upload this stuff on the SchoolTube in order to get a grade, and the version uploaded on SchoolTube says it's the new New News' is News Cure. I misspelt it by accident, so Jax Films, if you want to you wanna take that on, on YGS, you're free to do so. <laughs> yeah, there was that. Um, and then there was Deadheads, which I was able to successfully used what was called the Ken Burns effect. By the way, if you're a director and you successfully have a camera maneuver named after you, that, that is that is really awesome. Like that is that is so awesome. Uh yeah, so I said we'll play around with that. Uh originally there was no background behind the heads that were turning, but then they were like uh, I kinda got my Mr. Silva, the guy you see, uh, turning his, like, you know Mr. Silva if you've seen my videos, but, um, basically, uh, I'd have a picture here to show you, uh, <laughs> uh, basically, uh, he came up with the suggestion, well, why don't you put some dramatic stuff in the background, and when your head spins, why not choose a 7-Eleven? And I thought that was a genius idea. I don't really go to 7-Eleven that often, but I have gone there before. Okay, next video. <laughs> uh, moving on to the next video. This one, uh, Silva basically said you have to make a video with the concept of two people walking up to each other dramatically and, and be all like, I just have one question for you, paper or plastic. And they would say something like paper or something, and then they would go, no, dramatically. Uh, and the paper and plastic thing is, like, was his example. Uh, Victor, who you all probably know as this guy, uh, he is a big fan of cars. And being the big fan of cars he was, we asked his input, like, what should we use instead of paper or plastic? And he was like, how about um, BMW and Mercedes? And uh, sure enough, we went along with that. Uh, so yeah. 
uh, interesting fun fact about that one, that was the second attempt of making that video. The first attempt was very similar, it's just that, uh, well, for one thing, uh, Victor, uh, when he's at Mercedes, <laughs> had, had his hand under his shirt and went like this for some reason. I, I don't know. I personally prefer the way how it came out and the way it was in, in the final form. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I feel proud of not only myself, but everyone involved in that, within that video, because uh, it was a... a Let's just say that it took multiple takes, uh, and that is probably the closest I've gotten to the actual feeling of the film industry through these videos so far. Uh, so there's that. Uh, also, uh, for some reason, uh, you'll notice that in the background when Victor says Mercedes in the video, that there's someone walking in the background. I swear to God, I kid you not. The same exact thing happened in the previous attempt. I don't know why. And I think it was the same person too, I don't know, I, I'd have to look back at it, but oh my god. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess someone just doesn't want us to have the perfect video or something. And, uh, yeah. Oh man, what was the one after that? Oh, I'm gonna have to cut here. Uh, or fast forward, uh, choose whatever you like. Yes, I searched for myself on YouTube. Oh, of course! I knew it all along, the, the Victor's uh, news show. Um, this video was mainly inspired by the Truman Show because our teacher, Mr. Silva, actually showed us uh, that video in class before we uh, even attempted to try and film anything or write up any script. He showed it to us in class, and by the way, if you have not yet seen The Truman Show, what are you doing right now? Stop watching this video and watch The Truman Show, because it is really, it's, it, it's, uh, uh, I don't even know how old it is, uh, but, uh, it pretty much predicted the iPad a few decades earlier. <laughs> and, uh, that's also where that line, good afternoon, good evening, good night, came from. I just feel like that it would be an appropriate line for a Russian news anchor to say. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> also, that hat uh, that Victor wears uh, belongs to Jake. He was uh, kind enough to offer it uh, to us for filming purposes because I wanted to be as stereotypical as possible in this... <laughs> in this... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, uh, the audio's probably popping, but, uh, 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 I was, uh, actually originally hoping that Victor would give us <laughs> a stronger accent <laughs> when, uh, doing it, but, you know, uh, I don't want to nail that on the head, so <laughs> I just went with what I got, because it turned out really great, and, uh, I was, uh, homeless with the big jacket and everything, uh, the out on the field newscaster was originally supposed to be Jake, but Bella wanted to do it. Uh, also, her picture is a little different from mine and Jake's when it comes up near the end of the video because for some reason, uh, like not for some reason, she was she's just a little camera shy when I want to take a picture, but is okay with video, I guess. I don't know. So she instead uh, sent me a picture she took on Instagram, which I gotta say kind of makes me. Uh, well, y you can see for yourself. To be honest, uh, I, from those three pictures, I think I took third place. I mean, Jake. <laughs> uh, you, you got some, uh, photo material there, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, also, by the way, I don't know what you were thinking, but, like, Sarah Contest with the camera? Like, he, like, I, I wrote that into the script. Because that is literally what he called it. He literally kept telling me that he was having a staring contest with the camera. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's a, it's a Jake thing. Uh, it's impossible to comprehend. Uh, also, uh, in that video, uh, like, like I said, it was uh, based off the Truman Show. We, 
we were originally just being like, oh, it's the Victor Show, but we decided to turn into the Victor News Show, because why not? Also, really cool fun fact. Uh, the background for uh, Victor's newsroom is the same background that was used in the new in the newsroom for the uh, for the Dodge and Fusky uh, Sucker Punch EP teaser, which is actually really cool. It makes me feel it. It means one or two things. Uh, it means either uh, I picked a really good picture, or the people in the teaser tri uh, did not uh, go that far as to look for a uh, news background, because it was like the second picture I found on Google when I Googled it. <laughs> but, uh, hey, lucky me. I only figured that out until, like after the video was done, like over the summer or something, which is uh, actually well after the EP was released. Uh, by the way, Sucker EP, uh, Sucker Punch EP. Man, I'm talking too fast for this video. Gotta go fast! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, get that EP, uh, my recommendation. Uh, yes, I like that music, don't judge me. <laughs> Moving on! Because <laughs> I think I've stayed on the Victor News Show for longer than I probably should have. Uh, it's actually, uh, I believe, my most viewed video so far. Uh, yeah, and to put that in perspective, it's only 34 views. So, take that for what you will. Uh, the video I uploaded after that was one where Jake and Forrest both went and uh, did their thing. And in hindsight, uh, I probably should have uh, done something with the audio with the I've got my mindset on you part because it just spiked there and I'm really sorry for any uh, headphone users that listened to that. Uh, that was my bad. Um, but interesting enough, this video is the only video on my channel so far that I did not make. This video was actually made by Jake and Forrest, but uh, I think it was mainly edited by Forrest. But um, yeah, they were making that video and uh, I help them with the finishing touches of some editing stuff, but not a lot. That's why when uh, the credits roll, my name is up there for like a split second. Also, uh, when it came to uh, the joke with the glasses, uh, this that was filmed way before, um, like... God damn it! Okay, it was an advertisement campaign. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so, the idea with the glasses that Jake would take one off and there would be another pair underneath, um, that was originally from that video. I basically took, stole that idea and put it into my actual video, uh, with, with the Max. <laughs> the idea was originally Forrest's idea, and... He was none too happy that I basically took his idea and credited it to Jake in the uh, final project video. Um, so yeah, there. Uh, for anyone who cares, which is probably only Forrest, <laughs> it was originally Forrest's idea to use the um, uh, the glasses gag. It was his idea. Yeah. Basically everything in that video was his idea. So I really can't say anything about it. Like, what I can say with what I edited, I pretty much synchronized the Opa Gamnam style. I did other stuff. I don't remember what, though. <laughs> the I've got my mindset on you music was picked out by Victor. By the way, Victor knows some really good music. I just need to put that out there. If anyone goes to my school and is watching this and needs advice for good music, ask Victor. He he knows like probably some of the best music I've heard in a while. Now, all right, the video after that, uh, the Mac, the Mac video. Um, yeah, that was an interesting one. What's more interesting is that video was originally supposed to be four and a half minutes long. Just like a normal YouTube video. But for some reason, 
my, uh, uh, my teacher, Mr. Silva, believes that it is way too long of a video because he has the attention span of a viner. And he believes that a two-minute video is probably the equivalent to a podcast or something. I had to shorten which means I had to take out a lot of good material. I had to take out transitions, so now, whenever I watch it, it doesn't feel like uh, it flows properly between the Macintosh picture and where I'm questioning Mr. Silva. I had a transition. I had to cut it out, because Mr. Silva told me to! Which is why I make a joke of it in the video after. If you look at the description of that video, it will say Mac 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 Yeah. I had a field day with that one. When I get the the Mac to say don't call me I I literally just took the same audio clip which you could probably tell uh where it says don't call me Matt. I tried to manipulate to sound like don't call me Mac although I probably had it closer at one point but ruined it but it it, it sounds close enough. Uh, so, yeah. Didn't have to. Anyway, now for the final video, and I can finally stop recording this. That video, I made literally in, like, probably less than three days. By the way, uh, where that rage face came up, that is the result of Victor's, um, wonderful filming. Uh, <laughs> Victor. I love you, bro, but, uh, let me explain this. He basically, like, as soon as I said no, as soon as the rage face came up, he, there were people walking by, and he instantly, like, takes the camera and puts it on them, and she was like, so, and like, and like after, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, did I ruin your video? I'm like, no, it's okay, I'll be able to work with it. But Victor, you cut it off at the wrong moment. But because of that, I was able to think outside the box, and I was able to implement it in a way that I believe was funnier than I originally intended it to be. So, because of that, Victor, I thank you! Moving on! <laughs> um, the scene where I'm in the bathroom, can I just say that it is hard holding a camcorder, uh, shooting it at a mirror, and making it seem like that both arms are down and that... The camcorder is now in the shot. That is hard. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It, that is hard. Don't do it. <laughs> Whoa, boy. I, I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know why. Uh. Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh, my eye's twitching. That's a good sign. <sighs> I got uh, Jake to say a line that made him seem like some kind of... Uh, Confucius say. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that was the part that Forrest was upset about because I was the one who thought of it, not Jake. Th you happy now, Forrest? <laughs> uh, boy. If you couldn't already tell, the Optical Drops Optical Drops is basically an Elmer's glue bottle with duct tape on the front, and I just use markers to color it on top of it. Uh, I'm very proud of it. I basically borrowed it from my school's uh, learning center. Uh, told them that I was going to use it as a prop for a video, and that for thanks I would show them the video once it's completed and uploaded to YouTube. I showed it to them, they loved it. I gave them back the bottle and told them that they could remove the tape or not. It's their choice, they removed the tape. So, rest in peace, uh, Elmer's glue, eye drop bottle. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think the close-up I had of me near the end of the video was a little too close. And the joke at the end is where I make fun of uh, my teacher. I actually got him to say the lines and he was okay with saying them. I don't know if he realized what I was uh, having him make fun of, but I think he had the suspicion of what I was making fun of. Uh, where that it only had to be two minutes long because the video is just under two minutes. And so what am I going to use for an ending? What else but Jake punching that? Punch the beep out of, out of, out of force. Oh man, that, that is going to be my sensor sound for now on. I'm just gonna have like a, have like those colored bar things and be all like, like, beep! Ugh. 
So, yeah. That's what's been happening. I want to thank you all for whoever uh, actually cares to watch this video in the first place. Uh, I want to thank the four subscribers that I have. <laughs> it's truly an accomplishment. So yeah, I also uh, want to thank Mr. Silva for introducing me to the idea of video in the first place. Be uh, because I've tampered with it before, but I tampered with Windows Movie Maker, so you can imagine how that experience transpired. Anyway, <laughs> once I was finally introduced to Final Cut Pro, uh, like that Mac commercial wasn't even just like making fun of it. It, it. It's a true thing. Final Cut Pro is probably the best uh, software I've ever used when, when making any video ever. Uh, I've tried Premiere, it, it's eh, for my taste at least. And, and Windows Movie Maker can go jump off a cliff. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, uh, to give back to Mr. Silva, he actually uh, got a successful Kickstarter where he's trying to help uh, raise awareness to help preserve the pavilion. It's basically some very important historical landmark, but there have been no renovations to keep it up standing, so it's eventually going to turn into a giant toothpick <clears throat> that's going to collapse if something isn't done. And there are so many people who have so many important memories from that place uh, that would love to have it strive in the future. Uh, if you really care about saving the pavilion, uh, go do that. Don't you fret, more content is coming out soon. Uh, back when I was still in Mr. Silva's class, I was working on a video that my little sister Julia helped me with, uh, but maybe it's my computer's fault, maybe it was Premiere's fault, I don't know. But for whatever reason, it wouldn't upload from my computer that I was using it on. So I never got to upload it, but I got a grade because he knew I tried it anyway. So, Mr. Silva, if you are watching this, wait in the future, because I have been able to salvage the clips. I will remake the video, and I will upload it to YouTube, not SchoolTube, because no one goes on SchoolTube except for the actual teachers. So, yeah. More coming soon. Not only that uh, Frankenstein of a video, but also... Uh, more in the future because I am doing a, another class. Mr. Silva's not the teacher in this one, but it's uh, still going to be Final Cut Pro, so it's still going to be quality content. <laughs> Next for the win. Anyway, I just want to uh, thank you all again. Thank everyone who's helped me. I want to thank Bella, Victor, Jake, um... Yeah, that's probably the... Uh, Forrest! Forrest! I, I totally meant to say you, Forrest! Please don't fret... Oh, man, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me! And on that broken note, I bid you farewell. Also, if anyone cares, uh, my birthday is just around a corner from the time of this recording, so, uh, you know what to do. And by you know what to do, I mean, uh, leave your happy birthday wishes in the comments. I'm turning 19. Oh, man. I hope that answered any questions any of you had. And I hope to see you soon with a clean-shaven face. Uh, hopefully, you'll love me by then.